What is up, YouTube? Super Shadow Mario 101 here, bringing you an RPG Maker VX tutorial, which I'm gonna start doing because I got it earlier today and I've been learning, and it's actually very, very easy to use. A lot of programs say, oh yeah, we're easy to use, and they're not easy to use. Excuse this, this is just the RPG I'm making that I've been working on. I'll probably do something for that soon. I think I might already have a YouTube folder. Let's see if I do. Yeah, I do. Let's go ahead and delete that. I prepared it earlier on. Whatever. Tutorial. Okay, so this first tutorial is going to be about, as you can see in the title, naming your character, like in-game, you pick a name, and choosing the gender of your character. Um, <coughs> first of all, let's change this map. We'll do most of our stuff on this map, unless it's required that we do something else, like house and we need to add stuff to the map. Okay. <coughs> and go ahead and put some grass because we can't walk on water. We're not God. And we'll start off over here. So th right now our characters are all these guys. In future tutorials we are never going to use these people. Um, I, whenever I start up a new project, I always delete them. The only character you don't want to delete is Rolf, because Rolf is the person you play as, and it's easier to just edit Rolf than delete him. But, in this case, you want him to have no name. Because when you type in a name, you don't want something there already, unless you want it. Like, for example, I know in Final Fantasy VII, when you get the option to type in a name, it automatically says Cloud. So if I want to type in a name, but I want the default name to be Cloud, I could do that. But if I want it to just be the name with nothing already there, and it's hard to explain. The point is, if I were to type in cloud, then when I go to type in a name, cloud would already be typed in, and I could either take it away and put something new or keep that. If I put this, nothing will be there. That's the point. Play Final Fantasy VII if you don't understand what I'm trying to say. And the only reason I say that game is because that's the only game I can think of off the top of my head that's done it, even though I've played so many. Okay, plus that's my favorite Final Fantasy, not because I'm not saying it's the best, I'm just saying it's my favorite. So, just to make things simple, let's go ahead and uh, make a guy that we're going to talk to to trigger these events. Um, in a future video, I'll make it, I'll show you guys how to make an intro, and during the intro, you can do this information. But for now, we're just going to talk to a guy that's going to tell it all to us. Um, walking animation, no, apply, okay, we'll get to him in a second, let's get back to no name. For no name, we're going to go and put this just so when you first start the game, it doesn't look like you're a boy, and then if you say girl, it'll transform into a girl with this, it'll look like you're taking your clothes off, or something. Because let's face it, taking stripping down is better than uh, transforming in right now. So, there's that. Now, let's talk to Rolf. Show text. Let's show his face, just to make it look somewhat authentic. Why did I just call him Rolf? Hello, I am Professor Oak, because Professor Oak is the one... Whenever you think, what's your name, are you a boy or a girl, you think of Professor Oak. Who, who doesn't think of Professor Oak? Exactly. I was giving you an option there to answer. No one. Hello, I'm Professor Oak. May I ask you, what is your name? Okay, so he's gonna say, "What's your name?" And this is the this one putting in a name is easier than they're both really easy, but putting in a name is much easier than changing the gender because names all you have to do is go to page three, name input process, pick the character you want to put a name for. In this case, one, which is gonna be the main character we play as. And max characters, 10. That's how many characters the name can be, which, if you don't understand that, it means how many letters the name can be. So in this case, the name can be up to 10 letters long. So, show text. I'm also going to take this opportunity to show you how to make a character say the new name. Ah, your name is, if I'm doing this right, you want to... There's, a, there's two slashes on your computer. The slash with the where the question mark is and the slash where the colon made of lines is. You want to use that one so the slash is angling towards the right going down. You want to put a lowercase n. I'm not sure if it matters if you put capital. 
squarey-ish bracket thingies, one, another squarey-ish bracket thingy, and a space, and that's the name. Put an exclamation point, but I'm going to put a space just to be safe. I'm, I'll put that somewhere on screen right now, because I don't know how good the quality this is going to end up. So, you are wearing a lot of clothes. I can't tell. Well, we need a comma. I, I, I like grammar, even though I misspell a lot. Are you a boy or a girl? Another thing I'll point out here, just because I can, is this line, this little arrow, text can only go up to there if you have a face. It can only go up to there. But if it if you don't have a face, it can go up to this arrow, because obviously the, the face takes up a chunk of that. So, okay. At this point, they're going to ask, are we a boy or a girl? Well, there, as you can see, there is no thing to say if I'm a boy or a girl. So I want to go to show choices. Boy. Girl. Um, really quick, you know how in most RPGs, if you're offered with a yes or no, which is what this originally was, if you click the B button or whatever button you use to cancel, it automatically goes with no. Well, that's what this does, choice two. If you cancel, it goes to choice two. So if we were to cancel, we would be automatically a girl? No. How about if we go to cancel, disallow? So you're not allowed to cancel, you have to pick. Obviously, if you wish to automatically turn a gender, if you don't decide to pick, that's up to you. But I'm saying that's probably the most logical choice. So now you see it says when boy and when girl and the two at symbols. Under boy, let's click that at symbol. And you want to go to page three change actor graphic and it shows you our character in this case let's go ahead and pick change them to the default male okay and then let's make him say because he's professor oak obviously we have to whip in a little bit of pedo you are a very handsome boy okay now for girl, we can do the same thing. Change actor graphic. This time we'll pick the girl. And make him say something even more pedo-like. Go to face, of course. You are very sexy. Growl. OK. Apply. Okay, so let's test that out. We're not done yet, though, but let's go ahead and test and make sure all that works. New game, because we don't have any other option. So here we are, our um, little, I don't know what he's going to be. Talk to this guy. Hello, I'm Professor Oak. May I ask you, what is your name? And we get the option to put in our name. Um, I don't know. Do I really need to name him? Because, I mean, I doubt you guys care what I name him. Guy. Oh, your name is Guy. So, you are wearing a lot of clothes. I can't tell. Are you a boy or a girl? And you get to pick. Boy. We automatically transform. You are a very handsome boy. So, let's go ahead and do it again. Hello, I'm Professor Oak. May I ask you, what is your name? And you can see the picture has changed also. Girl. This is just proving you can make a Pokemon game with this. I think this would be easier than hacking a ROM because you have more um, options and stuff. But I think hacking a ROM is cooler because you go on an emulator. And I'm a girl. You are sexy, growl. But as you can see, it you know it keeps going. We don't we want it to be a one-time thing. We don't want to do it over and over again, unless that's what you want. If that's what you want, then go ahead. So at down here, you're gonna want to go to. Um, where are we here? Hold on. Where is it? Um, control self switch, and just click OK. Control self switch A equals on. Now you're gonna want to new event page self switch A is on. 
at this point, we're going to go to him again and say, thank you for telling me about yourself. Okay. Um, make sure you put the graphic to him again and instead of just invisible. So there's that. So there's this page where you talk about yourself and this page which is what happens afterwards. Apply OK. OK. Let's go ahead and pray again. Uh, pray again. Let's go ahead and play again. Let it load. There we go. New game. Talk to him once more. Hello, I'm Professor Ugg. May I ask what is your name? Um, let's mess with him. Prof. Space. I love how there's so many spaces that you can use. There's no just one specific space. Prof. Oak. I wish you could just type it in. Your name is Prof. Oak. There's no period. So, you are wearing a lot of clothes. I can't tell you a boy or a girl. Let's just pick girl for the heck of it. You're a very sexy girl. Professor Oak flirts with himself there. And if you talk to him again, thanks for telling me all about yourself. And he'll just keep saying that. Um, one final thing. At the end of this one, you could either add more text or you could do another switch thing. And, um, you know, B, C, D. I don't know if you could do any more than that. I've never tried. I've never needed to. But you could keep doing that make him say different things like, Thank you for telling me about yourself. I said thank you. Why, are you, why do you continue to talk to me? I don't know. But that's it for episode one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm not sure what we're going to do next episode, but it'll be interesting.